That tour was really interesting, don't you think? Prince Henry is still unconscious. Oh, poor thing. The knave who poisoned his wine knew what they were doing. Ring the bell to call the healer. Once you feel better. Greetings, Your Highness. While you were unconscious, I performed an examination and was able to determine that some kind of potion was added to your wine. That's why you were in such a poor state. Perhaps there is some magic involved. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert in this field and can't tell how it might have affected you. You look pretty, pretty healthy now, so you're free to leave the chambers. I'll leave you in peace, Your Highness. Feeling better, son? That's great. Unfortunately, we still haven't found the person who poisoned your wine. But don't worry, we will soon. Well, since you're all right, we should be able to proceed with the wedding planning, no? Ursula was beside herself with worry. Poor girl is waiting for you to come around. Go and put her mind at ease. She has to get back to wedding planning, too. Now I need to go and make sure the guard takes all measures necessary to catch the poisoner.
Oh well, let's have a look. Wonderful! The potion worked nicely on your mind and vision, didn't it, Henry? Now you will marry me willingly, young man. I know this because I see nothing but pure and unconditional love in those beautiful eyes of yours. Oh, I'm delighted to hear this, sweetheart. We must get married as soon as possible. What are you waiting for? The wedding ceremony is about to start. Let's go! Stop the wedding, now! Oh, I'm glad you are with us again, brother. Uh, listen, Ursula isn't a princess from our neighboring kingdom as our father believes her to be. She's Ida's pet witch, sent here to bewitch you. Ida is a priestess of the forbidden part of the forest. We haven't figured out what she is up to yet, but we surely will once the spell she put on you is broken. Narita, nice to meet you. You need to go to the swamp and find a healer named Velva. She'll deal with the spell. Here, the shortest way to the swamp. As a precaution against unwanted travelers, though, I made it so that you need to have a motion ring to go through the portal. It must be somewhere in my hut. And take this. Could prove useful. Now I have some urgent business requiring my attention. Good luck. Where is that herb we Hello, I'm Velva. I knew you were coming. I also know the reason you are here. Someone used an extremely powerful potion of love to put a spell on you. I can break it with an antidote spell, but I'll need your help. I'll bring the ingredients that don't grow here, while you look for some meadow rue leaves and a root of asphodel. The antidote spell's effect is supposed to last only until it serves some purpose, your wedding in your case. But there was no wedding as far as I know, so it still has power over you. The same spell affects all people differently. Have you seen anything strange when under its effects? I can check what it would mean if you had. Maybe that information will be useful in the future. You're right. We better focus on the antidote spell. Fine. I'll go to the forest and find the necessary ingredients. Be right back.
Great, these are exactly the ingredients I asked for. Thank you. Here, take it. There is a bottle of potion and something you might need in the future. Remember that the potion will only work if you add a lock of hair to it from the head of the person you're obsessed with. Ursula, right? We'll find one in Ursula's chambers. The palace must be empty now since everyone is out in the forest looking for you. Now is our chance to sneak in unnoticed. Let's split up and meet at the palace. Then we can look for a way to sneak inside. Well, if it isn't my lovely husband standing in front of me. Oh, that's so sweet. You can't live a day without me, can you? Wake up, Henry. She's toying with your mind. That's much better. We should take her to Velva for a little interrogation. This woman knows for sure what Ida is up to.
She won't tell us anything without a potion of truth, but I don't have Belladonna substrate to make it. Nerida certainly has some. Please go to her hut and bring it here. I'll prepare everything else in the meantime. My house isn't the only thing hidden in this forest. There is a secret passage leading to the Siren's Grove, a home for ancient and magic half-human, half-bird creatures. I desperately need a Siren's Feather for my studies and potions, but no women have been able to reach the Grove. Sirens prefer the company of men a lot more. If you went, you'd also have a wonderful opportunity to learn things from the Sirens that no other living soul is aware of. What do you say? Very well, you're right. I'll ask someone else then. I'm off to the forest to collect some ingredients. See you soon. I'll keep an eye on Ursula. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now I can wake up Ursula and give her the potion. But remember, its effects won't last long, so you need to question her as soon as she wakes up. <laughs> Ida made me do this to the prince. She wanted to use me to get closer to the king. Ida rules over the forbidden part of the forest. She doesn't want the king to destroy it together with the rest of the forest. Her plan is to get closer to him, and then stop him. Here, take this. It will come in handy.
Yeah, our father isn't the decent man you think he is. He was trying to destroy the magical forest for his own selfish gain. Thanks to Evelyn and Narita, we can still walk its shadowy path. Maybe Ida isn't evil. She only bewitched you to defend her home? If that's the case, we must help her. If the king learned the truth, his people must have captured Ida and brought her to the palace. Ursula could help us, but we need to set her free first. What do you think, brother? Ida only wanted to stop the king, I swear. She is in the palace now. I saw the king catching her, and was going to tell you, but never made it. Oh my! We must get to the palace as quickly as possible if we're going to save Ida from King Elyon. Perfect timing. Please, set me free. <laughs> Naive fools. You fell into our little trap. You were wrong to think I care about the entire forest. I only care about the part that belongs to me. The king made me an offer that was just too good for me to pass up. Great deeds await us. We have to prepare for the worst. Ida is one of the most powerful priestesses in the kingdom. Now that she and the king have joined forces... Oh my. I fear what the future holds. <laughs> <laughs> 